Brent Stewart. Today we're coming to you live from The Hub. Today we have Julie Olinger with us, one of our product specialists, and she's here to tell us all we need to know about building our own share cards. Hi Brent, thanks for having me. Um, today I'm here to show you our private label share carts. And basically the idea of a share cart is to tackle two different issues. One is food hunger and the other is food waste. So I don't know if you know this or not, Brent, but about 13 million children in the U.S. each day face food hunger or food insecurity. And then on top of that, the U.S. actually wastes about 40% of its food supply. So we're here to kind of eliminate both of those issues. Well, that's, that's great. Can you tell us how it works exactly? So what the share cart does um, is, again, it tackles those two issues. And basically, your school cafeteria or lunchroom would have a share cart set up. And if kids say they get milk with their lunch, but they don't really like milk, they can just put the milk on the share cart and then a, a child who maybe doesn't have something to drink or is still thirsty can come and get the milk. Um, as long as your food is prepackaged and unopened, you can put it on the share cart. Um, so it's just really a great way to to tackle those two issues. That's really cool. Who, where did this come from? Who came up with this? Actually, the students themselves, in a lot of cases, take this idea to their principal or their food service director because they really want to eliminate those issues. So a great benefit um, or added benefit to having the share cart is it's really getting the kids more focused and involved in helping others helping out their communities and just being more civic minded because what we found is a lot of times um, either the school will send the leftover food home with children whose families may not be able to provide them with a, a dinner or snack um, and then if, if they do have any leftover food at the end of the week, kids will take that leftover food to a local food bank or any kind of local charity that distributes food throughout the community. So it's just a great way to get kids involved in their community um, outside of school as well. That really is fantastic. Now, what do we need to know? What are some of the basic things we need to know about setting up our, our uh, share cart? So there are a few different components that you want to look for when you're establishing your uh, share cart program. Um, and I really like our Huber branded uh, carts because they actually are a pretty slim profile which you want to look for so that you're not taking up a large amount of space. Also another key component is you definitely want to have something to keep those milks and yogurts cold. So look either for a, um, a cooler or an insulated food pan. And finally you want the food itself to be accessible to the kids. So look for something that's going to have a low shelf for kids, especially those kids that are in kindergarten and first grade, they can easily reach the food. Now I know we're selling, you're serving food to children, so there's got to be some rules behind that. There's always rules and rules and regulations when you're talking about school districts and that kind of thing. Um, the good news is that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is definitely behind this movement, so it's great to have them on board. But if you do want to implement a share cart program in your school, just make sure that you check with your local government uh, regarding the rules and regulations because they will vary greatly, um, sometimes depending on where you live. Well, thank you so much, Julie. This is really great. If you'd like to learn more about share carts or help setting up your own share cart, come and visit us at hubert.com.